focusing on expanding your ribs, your chest and your collarbones for releasing the shoulders and the neck. Shoulders yoga that we're going to do today. Inhale. And exhale. And you expand your breath and hold, hold that expanded breath. See if you can bring a little bit more breath in and more breath in as if you were inflating a balloon. And then exhale through pierced lips. Let's do it again. Inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. Hold for a moment. Just stay breathing. Put an intention for your practice today. Bring your palms together and bow your head towards your hands. And open your eyes. So you might be seated on a, on a block or on a cushion. I have a little bolster here. Make sure that um, you have a comfortable reach to the ground. We're going to bring the fingertips behind. So I'll show you sideways. Fingertips will be towards each other. You might be leaning. If so, make sure that your hands are supporting you well. We want to bring the shoulders open and towards each other. And we're going to sway the knees side to side motion. The openness of the chest is super important. If this is too far for your hands, you can put blocks or a couple of books underneath your fingertips. I'm using my fingertips so that I have that surge. Good. Lovely. Now, Bring your legs back to center. Your feet should be really wide. Not, I don't have my feet aligned with my hips. My feet are really, really wide. So now we want to bring both knees towards one side, stretch the, the shoulders back, and now look on the opposite direction to where the knees are. Breathing deeply, letting your legs get an internal rotation and an external rotation. So the right leg has an external rotation, the left leg internal rotation, and your gaze is towards your shoulder. Now bring your head back to center, bring the legs back to center. Make sure that when you're looking over the shoulder, not look, you're not bringing the ear to the shoulder, you are turning the head. So it's the side of the neck that gets this stretch. Just now we did it to that side, we're going to do it to the other side. So let, let the legs go side to side just for a little bit, feeling those hips, that's it. And now we let both knees rest to the other side. Open your chest, feel that extension, and now, sorry, I'm doing the other side. <laughs> Turn your head to look over your shoulder. Shoulder blades are towards each other. 
This time your right leg is internally rotating, your left leg is externally rotating. And bring yourselves back to center, bring your toes together, knees apart, and have a big diamond shape between your legs. Bring your hands close to your ankles. Inhale, and as you exhale, let your chin come towards your chest and let the head be heavy towards the floor. We're going to do 10 deep breaths in here. So you have time to completely relax. If you have quite a lot of flexibility and your elbows can come outside your shins and your forehead, come towards your feet, that's absolutely fine. In here we want to let the head be heavy. Arching the whole back. Can you use the breath that we were doing before, inhaling and inflating your belly, your ribs and your collarbones, letting the back of the neck, the shoulders, space between your shoulder blades expand and exhale forward. Inhale completely. <sighs> One more. Good. And walk yourselves back up to center. Either have your legs, legs, your legs cross. If your support underneath your your um, bottom is high, legs cross might be easier to have. Have your hands as if you were holding two plates by the sides, shoulders back and down. Let's give it a little bit of a roll. Elbows towards your ribs. That's it. Good. Yes. And change direction. Lovely. So now the hands are facing upwards. The elbows are towards your ribs. That's it. Inhale. We're going to expand the hands away and bring the chin up, but just a little bit. You're not dropping your head. Exhale, chin to chest, bringing your elbows as if they were going to touch behind your back. Keep your mula bandha, your abdominal lock, engage your um, Mula Bandha is your root lock, Uriana Bandha a little bit higher, belly bottom block. Bring your elbows in and out. Inhale, chin comes up, expanding. Exhale, elbows come in. Inhale, bring it out. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, bring it out, arms come up, chin goes towards the ceiling, exhale, chin towards the chest. Good. Now relax your hands a little bit further forwards and start making like a vibration on your hands, small pulsations. That's it. Good. Shoulders back and down, try to sit really long. So these small pulsations as if you had two, I don't know, balloons with water on your hands. They have a bit of resistance. You can feel the heat being built on the forearms and hopefully on the shoulders as well. That's it. Good. Now inhale, bring your arms up. Join your hands together. Chin come towards the chest and your hands come behind your back, show you sides, sideways. So your hands come behind your back, breathe. So in here we're opening the triceps and the 
armpit. One more breath. Interlace your fingers with your hands behind your neck. Cradle your head with your hands. The heels of the hands come to the base of the neck. Stretch it up and let your head rest onto your hands as you look up a little bit. So you're not letting your head drop completely. Your hands are helping to stretch the neck. Your belly is still engaged and your elbows are opening. Your shoulder blades are towards each other. Good, now bring your head back to center. Notice that these movements are really tiny. With the heels of the hands, let the head come to one side, ear to shoulder. That's it. Relax the jaw. Bring it back to center. Change sides. Ear to shoulder. Good. Back to center and release the hands. You will feel the workout, so give it a little bit of a squeeze. Squeeze your shoulders and your upper arms. With love, all pain that we might have belongs there. For now, it's trying to tell us something, to pay attention. Now bring your right arm across and pressing above your elbow towards your chest, thumb is facing and let your ear, your right ear, right shoulder, the arm is straight. And you can move your head a little bit, just feeling where in the neck it is. Remember the whole Super connected. And bring your head back to center. Same arm. Bring the elbow towards the ceiling and let that shoulder stretch behind and the triceps stretch. Good. And release the other side. So the arm comes towards, the arm is straight, thumb facing upwards, that's it. And then the ear comes towards the shoulder of the arm that we're working with. It's almost like if I, we are giving ourselves a little hug. Breathe into the side of the neck that is opening, which is your right side. And bring it up and let the hand come between your shoulder blades. Yeah, good. And release, lovely. Hands onto your shoulders and let your elbows kiss each other as you come up and up and up. Good. Change the direction. Lovely. And relax. Grab your belt and we're going to come into standing. That's it. So leave the cushion or blanket nearby, we will at the end as well. And start with your feet, maybe a little bit wider than hip distance, so that you have a good grounding. Your toes can face upwardly. So just move your legs a little bit side to side, feel the feet grounded on the floor. And bring your belt to be three times your hip distance, more or less. So a comfortable space that you can have your, your belt outstretched. So 
so that it's lacking in the middle. But your knuckles are facing down. Good. Hips are soft. Inhale, bring your arms up. And see where you can get. If you have a lot of flexibility in your shoulders, you might go all the way down. This is how far I can go. Exhale, bring your hands back. Inhale, arms come over and you open your chest. You feel the sides of your ribs. And exhale, legs down. Keep breathing, opening up, allowing that stretch to happen. And exhale, bring it back to center. One more, and we're going to hold. So we're going to bring the hands behind and hold. Maybe you want to soften your knees a little bit. And look side to side, as if you were making a horizontal line with your nose. Um, back. Good. Shake your arms, roll your shoulders. Lovely. Now we're going to bring the right arm up towards the sky and let the hands slide. So both arms are straight. We bring, it's a bit like directing planes. The right arm is up and the left arm comes to the side at 90 degrees. Again, the belt is not slacking. You keep that um, tension, but your hands are not tensing too much to hold. The right arm is up towards the ceiling. And now you let your left arm come behind. So it's not a strong pull. You're then you let the left arm use its weight to stretch the right arm. Good. Change sides. So the left arm comes up. The right arm, to start with, comes just horizontally across. And then you let the arm come behind. The left arm is up towards the ceiling and you let the weight of the right arm pull the left arm up a little bit more. Good. And release. Shake your hands, let go of your belt. Sometimes we get a lot of tension on the hands. Good. Bring your hands onto your knees. And arch your back. We're doing a cat cow from standing. This is really good to incorporate on the day to day. Open your chest and arch, looking up towards the ceiling. And chin to chest, tucking your tailbone under. Inhale, open, open the shoulders as well. Chin to chest. And keep arching your back. Let your hands come towards the floor. Breathing deeply, letting your head be heavy, letting your arms be heavy. And bend one knee and then the other, as if you were walking. Only your legs move. Your upper body is completely relaxed. You're swaying side to side, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the neck, and change the direction. The movement is the same, but the intention and attention changes. Push the feet onto the floor, keep the, leg, the arms like a rag doll as you come up into standing, chin to chest. Oh, the chest, let the shoulders go back. Bring your arms around and up. Breathing deeply. 
Reach all the way up towards the sky with both hands. Stay there. And then bring your hands back to center. Let's do it again. So we are going, we're doing a roll down, chin to chest, then roll up and bring your arms around and up and then hands to center. Because we're working with neck and shoulders, we want to be very mindful and work as slow as we need to, to feel it completely. So feet are hip distance, spread your toes. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, soft knees, soft hips, letting your upper body be a doll, going all the way down. Releasing the shoulders, releasing the neck. If there is pain, breathe and let it go. Once you reach all the way, have a little walk. Just your feet don't move, your, just your knees bend and straighten. And change the direction of the walk. You're still swaying side to side. Now push your feet onto the floor as you roll all the way up into standing. Once your shoulders are parallel to the floor, let your arms revitalize, bringing your arms all the way around. Open your chest, feel the back of your neck, your Shoulder blades are towards each other. Relax your shoulders. Bring your fingertips to touch. Expand up towards the sky. And then bring your hands towards your chest. Good. <laughs> shake your arms, shake your legs. Lovely. So we're going to put all of this in a little flow. We want to room to let your arms flow. Hip distance, inhale, arms around and up. Bring your hands to join, stretching up, exhale, bow towards the floor. Inhale, extend your legs, extend your back, exhale, soften your knees, bring your right leg back, release your right Knee onto the floor. Right hand is on the ground. Left hand comes onto your knee. And let the knee come away. Look over your shoulder. The hand that is on the floor is strong. And you let neck stretch. Bring it back to center. Push into your front leg, coming onto this kneeling low lunge. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, Anjali Asana. Pushing forwards, opening your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, elbows to each other. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, elbows towards each other. And release your hands by the sides of the foot. Bring the leg back, we are in all fours. Spread your fingers and let your upper body roll inside your shoulders. I'd like to imagine that it's like the wheels of a locomotor going round and round. That's it. See if you can change direction. You might feel cracking inside the shoulders. That's quite common. And then reach one shoulder towards the ear and the hip goes away and making a C shape on the side of the body. Good. Now we'll continue working on the right side. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread your hand through let the shoulder rest on the floor, side of the head is on the floor. Tuck your toes under. 
your left toes are tucked under and you are turning. So the head is nicely supported. If you feel balanced, bring your left arm up towards the ceiling. And if you want, you can release the hand behind your back. You can even push your left shoulder with your right hand. This is a bit of balance, but it's also a nice twist for the upper body. Inhale, I'm up. Exhale, hands onto the floor and coming back to center. Good. Tuck your toes under. Come up into your downward facing dog and walk your dog. Swaying your hips side to side. Remember, we are all connected. Look towards your hands and walk step by step towards your hands. Once you reach towards your hands, hold onto your elbows. Even greater weight onto your upper body, onto your arms. Head towards the floor. Inhaling. Exhaling, release the elbows, rolling up into standing. We're going to go straight into the other side. Inhale, arms around and up. Reaching up, exhale, bow. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, soften your knees and bring your left leg back. Release your left knee onto the floor, right hand is on the ground, bring your, sorry, left hand on the ground, bring your right hand onto your knee and push your knee away. You're letting your hip open up and you're opening, looking over your shoulder. Nice. Bring it to center. Bring your arms up, inhale, exhale, Anjali Asana, bringing your elbows towards each other, open your chest, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hands towards the floor, leg back into your folds, locomotor shoulders rolling, Rolling down the river, keep on rolling. That's it. Change the direction. So when you change the direction, you're rolling up towards your shoulders. Good. And shoulder to ear and hip away from the shoulder and change sides. Good. So now bring your left arm up and thread your hand through. Push the hand that is in front of your face. Tuck your right toes under. So your shoulder is getting a little bit of a stretch, but it's resting on the floor. Your neck is free to move. See if you can bring your right arm up and maybe rest the right wrist behind your, your waist. Inhale, I'm up. Exhale, release. Coming back to center. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. And look towards your hands. Walk step by step towards your hands. Soften your knees, soften your hips. Grab hold of your elbows. And sway your upper body side to side. Release the elbows, push the feet onto the floor. Roll it up into standing. Bringing your arms around and up. And exhale. 
hands towards their heart. Good. Shake your hands, shake your arms. We're going to come back into sitting. So take your cushion. This is like a little bolster or a brick. Come into sitting. And sit as comfortably as you can. Maybe your legs will be outstretched. Maybe you cross your legs. You want to allow your shoulders to be relaxed. Allow your back to be as straight as you can. By straight, I don't mean that it should be like a plank of wood. The back has its curvatures. The back of the neck is a lordotic curve that has to be there. The back of the waist is another lordotic way going inwards. The middle back goes upwards, kyphotic curve, the same as your hip. So we have like two S's on the back, and that needs to be there. You don't want to flatten those curves. Just let your body sway a little bit side to side. Fill in the sides of the neck. Let the head be lazy. As if you were moving on water. Good. And make this swaying smaller until you come to center. You can have your index finger and thumb joined together. And we're going to trace as if it was a little ball shape with our nose. A saucer, maybe. And then we'll let the circle be a little bit bigger, like a side plate perhaps. Feeling the front of the neck stretching. Go with the breath. And make it bigger, dinner plate size. Relaxing the shoulder. Feeling how we are all super connected. Good. And keep your chin towards your chest. We're going to change direction, starting B. Really big. Feel the neck, feel the shoulders. And make the movement of the circle a little bit smaller. And if you feel little crystal noises on the back of the neck, this is quite normal. And smaller. And smaller. And smaller. Until I've just did it. Small glass that you are circling with your nose. And stay there. Keep your eyes closed. We're going to research the, uh, the shoulders with this sensibility. So let the right shoulder move around. And let the arm also move with it. Do your own research. Maybe you want to do a big circle. Go with your breath. So going with the breath means that I inhale with intention as I start the movement and I exhale with intention as I finish the movement. And change the direction. Keeping your eyes closed will increase the sensibility on the arm. Maybe you rest the hand and just move the shoulder. And let that shoulder drop, be relaxed. And you might feel that it feels a little bit lower than the other one. Sometimes it is true, this is what is happening. Let's try the other side. So the left shoulder starts moving. 
let the elbow also articulate, move, you can move the head, I can feel that this side is stiffer for me, always change direction as well, use your breath, remember your breath is your secret weapon, and then release. Check that you're sitting comfortably. We're going to do Brahma Mudra, which is movement and sound to help release the neck and shoulders. Many times we need to change perspective. So many times we feel stiff on this part of our body because we don't we are not able to change perspectives. So imagine that you are doing that. The movement in this um, Brahma Mudra, it's contrary to what no, we normally do. Instead of inhaling and then moving, we're going to inhale and move towards the right. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale and move towards the left. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, moving down. Inhale, moving down. Exhale, up. So let's try it all together. Inhale towards the right. Exhale to the center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Inhale up, exhale center, inhale down, exhale center. We're going to accompany this with sound. So from the right, we're going to return, chanting ah. From the left, we're going to return chanting A. From up, we're going to return chanting E. And from down, we're going to return chanting mm, with the mouth closed. Okay, let's try it. Inhale right. Ah. Inhale left. Hey. Inhale upwards. Ye. Ye. Inhale down. And mm, with the lips closed. Mm. Notice how each sound will bring different vibrations in different parts of the body. Let's do it again. Inhale. Ah. sitting straight with your eyes closed we will end our class just with one om and three shanties so stay on this space of centeredness inhale to begin inhale 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om, peace, peace, peace. Palms together. And place that energy onto your neck and your shoulders, massaging where would you need some. TLC, palms together, bow, namaste, with it, three arms in the end. Give yourselves a little clap. Well done, well done.